Yo, yo, welcome back to The Wall Mindset. So today I'm gonna to be reacting to how to be more straightforward. And this is another one from The School of Life. And I'll leave a link to this one in the description. And this is what I'm all about. I, I think it's hard for a lot of folks, but I, I think it's so important to be straightforward, to, to just get in someone's face, just tell them how it is, communicate, put the stuff out there and not worry about, don't overthink it and think about too many things. Put it out there. So I think um, I, I want to see what he has to say about this one. Try to be more straightforward. I'm all about it. All right, let's get into it. A basic distinction in humans is between those who are straightforward to deal with and those who are, as we tend to be reminded whenever we interact with them, repeatedly tricky or complicated to handle. What makes straightforward yeah, people... Off the bat. Okay, it doesn't have to be tricky... Or, I mean, they're just not straightforward. You know, maybe they're thinking something. Maybe they, they thought like, oh, maybe I wouldn't, I shouldn't say that. But I don't know about sneaky, the sneaky sneaks. Gratifying to be around isn't so much that their positions and intentions are always inherently unproblematic. It's that we happen to know exactly what the issues are yeah, from the start. Yeah, front. There is therefore no need to guess, decode, untangle, and scramble yes. or translate. Communication. There are no sudden surprises or revolutions in perspective. If these straightforward types don't want to do something, but they I'll will tell you. politely and in good time explain that it's really not for them. That's a nice way to put it. If they're unhappy with our behaviour, they won't smile sweetly while developing noxious stores of envy or hatred in the recesses yeah, of their that. minds. They will immediately provide a gentle but accurate statement of how we are frustrating yes. them. If they're worried a project is going awry, they won't pretend that all is well until a catastrophe yes, comes along. You, you, you telling people stuff straight up, up front, how you feel, what you think, what you're seeing, it solves so many problems. It makes things a lot smoother, especially like, yeah, if you're talking about a project, it's not working. If something's, something's going on, everybody wants to know that up front instead of having it turn into a bunch of junk at the end. Be denied. If they're attracted to someone, they will find charming, kind and inoffensive ways of making their feelings yes. clear. And in bed, they may want to please, but they can also be honest and unashamed about what actually pleased. Right? Everything. This applies to everything. Tell them, tell them straight up. So in relationships, with a significant other, with anything. Why not? This is just smooth. This is a great, this is a great one. I'm agreeing with this one. It's them. The problem with complicated people is that they are painfully unsure about the legitimacy of their own oh. desires, which renders them unable to let the world know what they truly want and feel. They may appear to agree with everything we're saying, but it you're unsure, I mean, I understand, that's hard. That they had a host of reservations that require an age to, to recover and resolve. They will ask you if you'd like another slice of cake when it turns out that they are pining for you. <sighs> hate that. They will swear that they want to join you for the dinner you'd suggested, when in reality they'd been aching for an early night. <sighs> hate that. They will give every Why impression don't you just say what you happy want? with you while crying inside. They will say sorry when they want you to apologize. When you don't want to do something and then you go do it and then you get all bitter and sad and it messes with you, that is all bad. Why not just tell people to their face, no, or I'm tired. Like people will respect that. They feel overlooked, but won't ever push themselves forward or raise a complaint. They're longing to be understood, but never There's speak. There's a lot of confidence that when has to come with that. When they're attracted to someone, the only outward evidence might be a few sarcastic comments leaving the object of their affections bemused or unimpressed. <sighs> Around sex, they go along with what they feel might be normal, as opposed to what actually interests them. What could explain such confusing complexity? The root oh. cause is Let's see what this is about. It springs not from evil or inherent manipulativeness, but from yeah. fear. The fear of how an audience might respond that confidence, or one's true that fear. intentions to be known. There is, as ever, likely to be a childhood origin to this pattern of behavior. Oh, a yeah. child becomes complicated, that is, underhand, roundabout, or even deceitful, when it's given the impression by its earliest caregivers that there is no room for its honesty. One can imagine a child whose needs for another biscuit, for a run around the garden, for help with homework, 
or for a chance not to see Granny, might have been received with irritation or open anger. It never quite... Dude, that's true. That's probably... Man, if folks grew up and they weren't allowed to just speak their mind and it was frowned upon and they got a bunch of crap for it, that will do that to someone. That's true. Man, so I'm just thinking for the next generation, for my kids, that's something, that's something folks need to think about. You need to let them be them right? Let them voice it. You can explain it. You can talk about it, but not frown and just, it's not okay to speak your mind. You, when its parents would get annoyed or explode, or why? Or else a child might have sensed that a parent would be unbearably saddened if it revealed too many of its authentic aspirations. Why would one directly say how one felt or what one wanted if the result were to be shouting, tears, or a complaint from a loved but fragile grown-up that this was a betrayal or all Damn, to always the grown-ups, man. The parents, stop messing stuff up, man. Ha ah, dude, try to find that balance. Yeah, if you, you, you put all that on the kid, they're going to grow up messed up. Too much. And so the child grew into an adult expert at speaking in emotional Ugh. code. They became someone who prefers always to imply rather than state who planes the edge of every truth, who hedges their ideas, who's given up trying to say anything that its audience might not already want to hear, someone who lacks any courage to articulate their own convictions <sighs> or to make any even slightly risky bid for the affection <sighs> of another person. Fortunately, none of us are fated to be eternally Okay, what can we do? What can we do to fix this? We can untangle ourselves by noticing and growing yes. curious about the origins of our habitual evasiveness and reluctant slowness. Yes. We can register how little of our truth was originally acceptable to those who brought us into the world. Well, that's a lot of self-awareness. You got to know that that is a problem even and then start to think of ways to work on it. But I don't know, people that are not straightforward, they might not see anything wrong with it. And if they do, it takes a lot to break out of it and fight it. But that's what it's gonna take to fix it. it doesn't have to be like that Simultaneously, forever. Simultaneously, we can remind ourselves that our circumstances have changed. The dangers that gave birth to our coded manner of communicating have passed. No one is now going to shout at us or feel inexplicably hurt like they once did. Or if they do, we have agency. We can, as a last but crucial resort, walk away. We can use the freedoms of adulthood to dare to own up yeah. to more of who we actually are. Do it. We can also recognize that our complicated behavior doesn't in fact please people as we might have hoped. Nope. Most of the people we deal the heck with out of stuff. would far rather be frustrated head on than sold a fine tale and then have to suffer disappointment in <sighs> gradual doses. These Human graphics. interaction is inherently filled with a risk of conflict. We are never far from misaligned goals and divergent desires. However, the straightforward people among us have known enough love and acceptance early on to be able to bear the danger of ruffling a few feathers. Okay, I can't say nothing. I came from a pretty good family. There was some stuff, but it was pretty balanced and it probably helped to build my confidence a lot. So I can't really say anything. It just, it comes natural, comes easy to me, but probably because the way I was raised. They invest their energies in trying to deliver their truths with thoughtful diplomacy, rather than in burying them badly beneath temporary and saccharine smiles. We will discover simple communication when we can accept that what we want is almost never impossible for others to bear. It is the cover-up. They can bear it. Let them know. They'll, they'll, they'll learn to appreciate it. People, people appreciate people telling them to their face. Always maddens and pains. I like this one. This one I really like because it's true. They, I mean, I, I've always thought about it. Why are some people so straightforward and just in your face and just not, not overboard, but just telling you how they feel, how it is, or what's the problem, and just speaking their mind, letting you know emotionally or professionally or whatever. But some people having it rough. But this, this explains a lot and it explains how you can work on it. It takes a lot of confidence, a lot of courage to fight through and know there's a problem and then to just look at what it's gonna take for you to break out of it. But 
This is an interesting one. This is a good one. I like this. So um, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.